Climbing back upon Mount Soapbox for another rant. And no, we're not ranting about Battlefield 5 open beta. It's just the B-roll. <laughs> so this little journey began a few days ago when a video game came out that a lot of people were very excited about, including myself, because I happen to be a comic book fan, a nerd, a geek, whatever you want to call us. I am that. And so much more. Spider-Man the game came out for the PlayStation 4 as well as the PlayStation 4 Pro. And I was eventually planning on getting a PlayStation 4 Pro down the road sometime before Red Dead Redemption 2 came out in October because I plan on playing Red Dead Online with my viewers, subscribers, and fans on both Xbox One and PS4. And I wanted the best consoles to do that on. I have an Xbox One X already. And my PS4 is a little long in the tooth. She's been good to me, but she's running out of memory. And she's one of the older models. So her lifespan, we don't know how much longer she's going to last, though. But we enjoy the time we still have with her. Point is, I was thinking about getting a little upgrade a few days ago to the PS4 Pro in order to play the new Spider-Man game. I wasn't really intending on streaming it. I just wanted to play it. <laughs> And then the saga began. So Friday afternoon, following the ACG International podcast, I got in my truck. I went down the street to a nearby store that sells electronics. And you'd think that they would have had a PlayStation 4 Pro. Now, I wasn't looking for the limited edition Spider-Man PlayStation 4 Pro, if that would have been there. And I would have got the game along with the new console. You know, that would have been awesome. But I would have been happy to make those two separate purchases separately. The Spider-Man game, along with a PlayStation Pro with one terabyte of memory. I wish it had two terabytes, but alas, one terabyte's better than 500 gigs. I walked around the store, and alas, I could not find a PlayStation 4 Pro. I went across the street to another store that sold video games and video game consoles, and I waited in line for a minute. And I finally got to the cashier, and I asked him, I said, hey, uh, do you guys have any PlayStation 4 Pros in stock? And he's like, uh, no, we don't. And this is a problem that a lot of other stores are having. Apparently, Sony, in their genius, has limited the supply, the stock of PlayStation 4 Pros. And if you go to Amazon, there's no way I can purchase a PlayStation 4 Pro. I mean, it shows it clearly, but there's, there's, there's no way I can buy it. And if we go to GameStop, you can't buy it either. I mean, I would like to have this version, the limited edition, but it's already sold out. And the regular PlayStation 4 Pros, new, sold out as well. I mean, you could buy probably a used or refurbished PlayStation 4 Pro, but I'm kind of in the market for a brand shiny new PlayStation 4 Pro. And it led me to this uh, article from PushSquare.com. I'm guessing it's a uh, PlayStation article or site. PlayStation Pro stock running low in the United States. This is back in August. So if uh, PlayStation 4 Pro stock was running low in August 2018, it must be almost dry by now in September. If you're in the market for a PlayStation 4 Pro this summer, you may struggle to track one down in the U.S. Consoles can be found. The system is definitely in short supply, with many online anecdotes indicating that stock is running dry around the country. See, they had a quick look online and couldn't find a console at Amazon, Walmart, Best Buy. Some stores are taking pre-orders for the limited edition Spider-Man unit, which is already sold out, by the way. Bear in mind, this article was back in August. The supercharged system's a little more readily available in Europe, where a new Fortnite bundle has just launched. It's a strange situation with God of War, Detroit Become Human, the upcoming Marvel Spider-Man, which came out this week, all taking full advantage of mid-gen refresh. You'd think Sony would want as much PS4 Pro's stock available as possible. Maybe the unit's been selling above expectations, leading to shortages. Either way, it needs to be solved. And uh, there's also been issues reported over at Reddit as well. 
Does anyone know why uh, the PS4 Pros are out of stock everywhere in the U.S.? So they encounter the same issues I have as well. So speculation is, according to the cashier I talked to at a gaming store, is that Sony, I guess, is obviously still producing the PlayStation 4 Pro. I think they're just stockpiling them in anticipation for the holiday season, for uh, Black Friday, for sales. But it is September already, and there are a lot of people out there that buy holiday items several months in advance. Not everybody. Some people wait till the last minute. But you think that they would have a regular amount of stock available in one of the largest countries in the world, consumer-wise, when it comes to consuming products like video games and video game consoles and platforms, i.e. the U.S., where Sony would make sure that there were plenty of PlayStation 4 Pros available in stores across the country. At the very least via websites like Amazon.com or uh, GameStop.com. But no, it seems to be an issue that Sony is having right now for whatever rhyme or reason. Bear in mind that the PlayStation 4 Pro is not a brand new console. It has been out for, I believe, nearly two years now. I think it was announced, uh, what, back in 2016, if I remember correctly. I know that the Xbox One X is approaching a year old in November, but the PlayStation 4 Pro is nearly two years old. So you think that you wouldn't have too much difficulty getting a $400 PlayStation 4 Pro at your nearest convenient brick and mortar store or online via Amazon. But apparently Sony's going for some sort of reverse psychology strategy, right? Like, oh no, if we decide not to put these PS4s on the shelves and keep them stacked up at our warehouses, it's just gonna build up the demand and reverse psychology and lead to more people wanting and craving a PlayStation 4 Pro by the holiday season. Sony, like I said, this is not a brand new console. I mean, you guys should do a better job of making sure that these things are available in stock at the big chains throughout the country, gaming stores, electronic stores, online. It just makes sense, especially if you, like they mentioned in that article, there's been several really popular exclusive PlayStation 4 games that have come out over the past few months. Most recently, Spider-Man, which is a big motivating factor for me to upgrade from a PlayStation 4 to a PlayStation 4 Pro, but alas, until I'm able to get my hands on a PlayStation 4 Pro, I can't do that. So thanks to Sony's brilliant strategy, you're missing out on potential sell opportunities. I get it, you're, you're planning for the holiday season, but technically we are approaching the holiday season, which means hopefully within the next few weeks or months or now, maybe, just maybe, we'll finally see the elusive, rare PlayStation 4 Pro make its return to a shelf near you. But the reality is, this should be on the shelf already. Especially whenever you have a popular exclusive game launch. It's strategy, it's planning, because there definitely are a lot of gamers out there that might be getting their very first PlayStation 4, and they want to go ahead and get a PlayStation 4 Pro in order to swing around New York City as Spidey. Sony, would it kill you to take some of those PlayStation 4s you got stocked up in a warehouse somewhere, most likely, and get them out there to the shelves and to various websites for consumers to buy? Why does it matter if you sell them now in this quarter or that quarter? Isn't the point to sell the console to get as many PlayStation 4 Pros sold as well as all the exclusive games for PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 4 Pro? That seems like the best business strategy instead of making it almost impossible for a consumer to buy a two-year-old console. I realize that Sony's a multi-billion dollar company, but... Every dollar should count, every penny should count, every pound should count, every euro should count. And when you have consumers out there willing to spend $400 to $500 for A, a new PlayStation 4 Pro, and B, an additional $60 for the game, which equates to, let's just say roughly just under $500 US, 
that's an opportunity you're missing out on. And I get the feeling that I'm not the only gamer out there that's looking to play Spider-Man on a brand new PlayStation 4 Pro. I know they say patience is a virtue and I realize that the PlayStation 4 Pro will be back on shelves eventually, right Sony? I just wanna swing around New York and like throw people up against walls with webs and chase around pigeons. Is that too much to ask Sony? I think not.